Advice number one. Don't compare yourself with anyone in this world. If you do so, you are insulting yourself. Abraham Lincoln once wrote to the teacher of his child to make a request. It was a simple one. Teach him that nobody in the world is bigger than him and is bigger than no one. Unfortunately, most young people in our world today live their lives comparing themselves to every other person and end up trying to be everyone. That's the path to unhappiness and failure in life. Listen, you are a unique being who is not designed to be good in everything, but in something unique. Your life's mission isn't to beat other people in their games. Your life's mission is to know your own game. Be yourself. Know that nobody is better than you and you're better than no one. You're simply a unique being who is capable of achieving what nobody else can. Advice number two. To win big, you sometimes have to take big risk. The best time of your life to dare life is when you're young because you have nothing to lose. Really nothing. Don't take life easy. Don't live like everyone. Don't just talk about your dreams. Wake up and pursue it. Don't make excuses. Start with whatever you have, wherever you are. Get out and get lost. Advice number three. Your exposure from a young age to the realities of the world is a super big thing. Most people don't know what life really is until they are 40. Most people live with the illusion that life is or should be easy. Most people expect the government or their parents to solve their problems. The earlier you understand the realities of life, the more successful you will become. What then is the reality? Well, the reality is that life is tough and nobody will help you to solve your problems. We are sorry, your parents or government cannot help you. The earlier you take 100% responsibility of your life, the more successful you will become. Number 4. You need a coach. It doesn't matter whether you are a basketball player, a tennis player, a gymnast or a bridge player. In life, you'll become the person you admire. If you don't admire anyone significant, you'll become nobody significant. You need a coach, someone to inspire and challenge you, someone to help you believe in yourself. Your coach doesn't always have to be someone you have physical access to. You can decide to read books written by people who have achieved what you want to achieve. You can follow such people online and watch their inspiring videos. But why is this important? Simple, because life is tough and most people around you don't know anything about success. If your father isn't successful, he can't teach you how to be successful. If your siblings are mediocre, they can't inspire you to be successful. That's why you need to look outside your domain for someone who can inspire and challenge you. Number five, if you show people the problems and you show people the solutions, they will be moved to act. To be successful in life, you must be able to lead people and to get them motivated towards a common goal. To motivate people into actions, you have to show them what the problem is and what can be done to create a solution. As a leader, don't just give instructions. Let people know the reason why what has to be done needs to be done. Number 6. Success is a lousy teacher. It can seduce you into thinking you can't lose. If you want to be successful for a long time, you have to be humble. So many people have been successful for few minutes because they got to a point where they started thinking that they know it all. 
People who are successful for a long time never stop learning because they know that they can lose if they don't keep on learning. That leads us to the next advice. Number seven, I spend a lot of time reading. Even as one of the richest men in the world for over three decades, Bill Gates still remains a voracious reader because he understands that life changes every day and the only way to remain relevant is to keep on learning. In this day of social media and interesting movies, how many young people take time to read good books anymore? Yet, the books you read determine the future you will have. Just as Charlie Jones said, you will be the same person in five years as you are today, except for the people you meet and the books you read. Number 8. We start life with many big dreams, things we want to accomplish, create, build and experience. But if you ask anyone past the age of 40 what happened to all the dreams they had, they will most likely answer life. According to a study, out of 60 people who are planning to start their own businesses right now, only one of them will ever start anything. Not only business, people generally hate the pains of taking action. So much that even when they try to take action, the first failure or second send them back to their comfort zone. Most people are dreamers because dream is sweet. You can't be healthy for long if you only eat sweet things. Dreams are sweet and everyone eats it. Action is bitter and that's why only few people take proactive, determined and persistent actions. Be among the few who get up from their dreams. Get out and get crazy. Number 9. Our success has really been based on partnerships from the very beginning. The first big success of Microsoft happened in the year 1980, when Bill Gates partnered with the IBM and ever since then, Bill Gates has always been on the lookout to whom he can partner with. His passion for partnership was so strong that Microsoft even went to the extent of partnering with one of their biggest competitors, Apple Computer. What can you learn from this? Two are better than one. You'll grow and succeed faster in life if you learn how to work with other people. Number 10. Your most unhappy customers are your greatest source of learning. This explains itself. Your unhappy clients and customers give you feedbacks about what needs to be corrected in your products or services. In summary, if you want to be rich and successful in life, don't compare yourself with anyone. Never allow your dreams to die. Be strong and take risk. Be humble. Read good books and learn how to work and partner with other people. 